Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Have you been seeing all of the Euphoria looks on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok? I want to recreate my own. I know in the show there's no Asian character, so I thought, you know what? I'll be her even though she doesn't exist. And I created my own Euphoria look. It's not too crazy. I think it just gives a really beautiful twinkle to the eyes. And it's something that you could realistically recreate. But I will say, I still haven't watched this show. But by the time this video goes up, I probably would have seen season one. If you've seen it already, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like it? Do you not? I know the actors that are on it. That's about it. And I know the looks and the outfits. I already finished some of the other shows that I was watching. Like Emily in Paris and Just Like That. So now I'm ready for a new show to watch. If you want to see me creating this euphoria look, keep watching. I'm having a pretty good skin day with just a little bit of redness on my nose. So I'm going to go in with a primer. This one is by e.l.f. I already reviewed it, did a wear test. If you missed that video, I'll leave it right here. This is now the second time using it in a tutorial on my channel. So far, I haven't tried out any new foundations this year, but if you have one that you want me to review, let me know down below. The Charlotte Tilbury one, I know is super popular. The NARS one has been gaining a lot of popularity. Those are two foundations that I wouldn't typically spend that kind of money, but if you guys want me to review those, let me know. But I'm gonna go with a go-to. It's the drugstore option. It's the Physician's Formula Better Believe It Foundation and Concealer. And I like mixing it with the Live Tinted Hue Glow. And this is shade on. So I just do a little concoction like this, mix it, and it just makes the foundation glowy. I used to never bronze my skin, contour my skin, or anything, but it is so important when you wear foundation that's medium to full coverage because what that will do is make your face look really flat and you use your shadows and you want to bring those back out. So I'm going in with the Ali Oop Stack the Odds in Sunkiss. The first one is a blush. The second one is the bronzer contour. And the last one is the highlighter. I really like Ali Oop. They have some really cool products. And it has a cute little mirror and it says pretty face. So going in with the contour bronzer shade. I haven't used this in a minute and I love my M1, but I'm dying to try something else that's already in my collection. I can't remember if this is more of a bronzer or a contour. Okay, it's definitely contour, at least for me. Yeah, it's more of a neutral brown on me. At first you're like, oh no, this is way too dark. But now look at it. It looks really pretty. And then I'm just gonna use this just to place since my other brush is a little too big for this pan. ever stop using this product it's so good and very natural looking you wouldn't think that when you see it in the pan because it's so dark i believe i still have a promo code for ali oop you'll have to double check in the description box i can't remember if that's still active or not but if it is it'll be down there okay doing my little trick with my nose contour just to make it a little more subtle eyeshadow primer the only one that i've been using for like the last six months since by Ulta Beauty. I haven't used this one in a minute. It's the Rare Beauty Concealer in 190 Warm. I don't know why I stopped using this. I don't have a good reason, but I'm hoping after this, I'll start using it again. You definitely have to set this concealer because it's super creamy. But what concealer do you not have to set? Let's be real. Using the blush from the Stack the Odds palette. This one is just like a light peach. Look at that pigment. I always like to put my blush into my temples just to create that lifted look. 
I look so glowy. How do people do this and not wear any powder? They don't set their face or anything. Like how do they go out into the world like this? Because this would start smearing and falling off within hours for me. The star of the show is the single eyeshadow by Urban Decay. It's their Moon Dust Collection in Celsius. And iridescent, it has this purpley blue shift. It's so beautiful. It gives me mermaid vibes. I'm just using my finger and directly going in. Is that not stunning? Now I know Space Cowboy is super popular, but not enough people talk about this shade. I just want my eyes to look like this every single day. So don't worry about the edges, just focus getting it on the lids, and then we'll use a brush after. And then I go in with a brush and soften out the edges. And of course my go-to is pulling the shadow out and slightly up to create a winged out effect just like that. I like how towards right here it's just nicely diffused and it just goes into the foundation and the blush. So you kind of don't see where it ends. Now if you want to make your eyes a little more sharp, the shadow specifically, you can just go in with your sponge and use the edge and just do that with whatever product you have on your sponge. So you could create that line. See? It looks a little more sharp. Before I move on with my setting powder, I'm just going to Dab the concealer in one last time. Make sure I get rid of those creases. For setting powder, I'm going back to one of my go-tos. It's by e.l.f. It's the HD Translucent Powder. This powder is so finely milled that you will not look cakey whatsoever. It looks so good, especially if you don't like a powdery look. And then I'm going to use this... What do you call these things? These like little pads that you use powder for? I'm blinking on the name. I got a bunch of these. I like the triangle shape better because you can easily get under the eyes, chisel the contour even more. It's just a little bit easier. So I just pack it on, press it in into just really press it in and then just pat right in. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the side with powder and the side without. See that difference, especially under the eyes. It looks so smooth. Now I have have a little bit of the eyeshadow that fell so I would do the shadow first before you add concealer I should have done that but I totally forgot but this is a great powder and a great technique deepening up my crease a little bit more I'm gonna go in with this shade this is my go-to crease shade it's by Urban Decay it's in shade fix it's just slightly darker than my natural skin tone and I like using a fluffy brush one that's not too fluffy and I'm putting the tiniest bit I don't want that much I just want a little bit of definition just like that I love the shade fix so much it's really perfect especially if you are a similar skin tone like me before I finish the eyes I do want to go in with brows going in with my go-to the refi brow skin Sculpt. This will just shape my brow hairs up, make them look thicker and fluffier. I'm not really going for a laminated look, but more of a fluffy look. I watch a lot of YouTube videos more than regular TV, and people are saying that thin brows are coming back. And I don't know how I feel about that. Not as thin as it was back then, but definitely a natural brow look. I think the look is what my brows look like naturally with no products in them. So I'm a little sad that this look is out. I don't exactly do a laminated brow look unless I'm going for that. This is more just like a fluffy brow look, so a little bit different. But I'm still going to be rocking this because it makes my brows look more full and it makes me really happy. To fill in my brows, I'm gonna go in with another product that I haven't used in a while. It's by Rare Beauty. They have a pencil on one side and tinted brow gel on the other side. So going in with the pencil first. Oh, that's right. This one is very waxy and the pencil tip is a bit thicker than what I typically use. But this color is really nice. It's nice and neutral. I like this look. I think I'm gonna have to start using this again. That's really pretty. A little bit of the tint. You really don't need much of anything. I really like my brows. Okay feeling really good about this. I like to curl my lashes before I put on any eyeliner just because if I curl after, a lot of the times the eyeliner will stick to the curler and then I lose some of my eyeliner. Before I forget, I'm just gonna get the powder and blend it. I've been using this liner so much and it's so tiny. I'm trying to get everything out of it. It's the L'Oreal Infallible but in bronze. 
so it has a bit of a shimmer to it and it's a lighter brown and I really like that because I do want a little more definition the lash base but I still want something subtle like I don't want the liner to be the main focus and I really focus it on the outer corner since I'm creating a very slight smoky wing and then of course tight lining with this as well my go-to is just using an angle brush to create that wing and then you're not adding more product in fact you're just using whatever is on your eyelid if you feel like you lost a little bit of the eyeshadow that we first put on I always like going in but with a brush this time something super small wetting the brush and it just intensifies the shadow and for this I just focus on the center of the eyes see the difference this side is more intense and it looks almost wet I guess it is wet because I used a setting spray but you guys know what i mean Oof, so pretty i forgot to get my nose to put extra powder there now, i'm definitely getting some fallout like i said earlier but i'm just gonna go with it and it's just part of the look but again if you don't want that do the eyes first mascara primer this one is by essence i think after this one i'm going to try a, another drugstore option just to see if there are any differences essence mascara this one is the regular one one of you have said that this is your favorite drugstore mascara ditto really great i just get so much volume and length and it really is a great mascara for lashes nothing can beat these so far there are the ardell naked lashes in 421 you guys know what i like to do i like to cut them in half and just use a half a lash for either side i do like the ardell eco lashes that i recently reviewed those are just a little more natural and the band with the naked lashes is just it's so good and invisible that if you don't wear any eyeliner at all or nothing on the eyes you can get away with it and it still looks very natural tell me another fake lash that can create this look let's do lips next and then we'll get to the fun part going in with a lip liner this one is by jason Mew beauty in dolled up this is a more pinky nude. I just recently became an affiliate with Jason V Beauty. If my code is live, I'll put it in the description. I think it should be by the time this video goes out. I'm actually just filling in my whole entire lips since I'm not going in with lipstick. Because my eyes are iridescent, I want to bring that to the lips. This one is by Fenty Beauty. It's their gloss balm and confetti. I'm not sure if you can get this because it was in a gift set. If you can, I'll link it down below. If not, I will link a similar one. It has a little bit of shift to it. You see that? Now to the fun part the rhinestones i got mine from amazon i do have an amazon storefront i will have that link down below but also this specific product this i love because it's all organized it comes with a bag then it comes with an applicator which is super handy since these rhinestones are so tiny and you get a variety so we have lots of fun colors, which I might want to do a look for Valentine's Day. If you want to see that, let me know. I'm going to have to do that very soon, like literally next week. So I might do that. And then um, we have these that are more iridescent. And then the silver ones on top. It goes largest to smallest, and we'll be focusing on the two small sizes. Going in with the second small size, we're going to put that one on the inner corner, one on each eye. I like using a lash glue, specifically a pen, so you can be very precise. This one is by Kiss. Let's start with the easy part and do the inner corner. So just dab it. Let me make sure I'm picking it up on the right side. As you can see, I'm very new to this. I know you use this for nail art, which... I definitely do not do. Okay, there we go. It's a lot easier using this applicator than using your fingers. Just saying. And then just go right on in. Then I just press and then do a little twist. And that's it. All right, that was easy. Now going to the outer corner, outer wing that we created, very subtle. Using the same size, you're only gonna need one on each eye. And you're going to create a triangle. So you're gonna place it, depending on where you did your shadow, but mine's gonna be here, just like that. Then you take the smallest rhinestone and do it right next to it. Two at the bottom and two at the top. So that would be five total, just like that. And this is the finished eye look. So now we're going to replicate on the other side. There, I really miss the shade of blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just take it slow. I'll wait to find love. Better hear the call again. From now I will feel 
hard part is over. Now let's finish this off with some highlighter. Setting the face with Neutrogena, this is the Hydro Boost. Going back with Ali Oop, using the lash shade, just warming it up a bit. This is just a champagne highlighter. And this highlighter is very natural looking. And I didn't want something too intense because I want the main focus to be on the eyes. And then spraying one last time, just blending all of those products together, the creams, the powders, everything. And this is me recreating a euphoria look. What do you guys think? I love this look so much. And this look actually looks practical where you could wear it out and about and people are not going to look at you very strangely. This is still approachable, but it's a lot of fun. It's more than what you do every day. It just gives that little boost and twinkle. And I loved how this turned out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.